Oh, we're back. What we got? <laughs> That's right, kids. Oh, man. What's this? The 20 foot kinetic energy recovery rope from Grip. Grand Rapids Industrial Products. It's a 7 8. It's going to break at just shy of 22,000. But that's not what you want to know. You want to know this one. The working load. Just shy of 11,000. Eh. Let's take a look. I mean, is this, uh, uh, I mean, are you going to start a uh, recovery business with this rope? Nope. Sure not. <laughs> You're sure not, but uh, are you going to save the, the cost of uh, paying a professional to come get you unstuck by purchasing one of these? Yep, sure are. I don't think you're going to get a professional recovery company to come out and get you unstuck for the cost of one of these ropes. No. The cost of this rope could vary when you, oh man, what's going on there? It's interesting. Uh, apparently the, uh, the color is... Uh, Spreading amongst the, uh, man, that is a beefy guy, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> that's a, uh, I mean, that's a rope right there. That's pretty beef, man. That's a beefy, that's a beefy, uh, that's a beefy rope there. Let's get the old, it's worth more than the original package. What are we looking here? They're calling it seven eighths rope, but that's a that's measured an inch and a quarter in my book. At least it, well, up here at the thick. Sorry, yeah, that's a solid inch and a quarter. Out here in the thin, it stretches out. I'm gonna film that off. Well, it looks like a little over an inch. I'm not sure if you pull her tight. Maybe she can go seven eighths. I mean, so let's, let's read the instructions and see what it says. Get the debris around, uh, remove, attach it. No, attach it to the frame, not to the trailer hitch or the bumper. Yep. <laughs> Next, don't exceed. If you put not in it, you lose 40%. If it's in the water, you lose 15%. If it's in salt water, you're going to get them trapped in the fibers causing internal abrasions. Here's the part about here extensive or weekly use you're going to get three to six months and that's a company being honest with you if you use it occasionally you're good for two to two to one years if you hardly ever use it it apparently turns to dust after five years so i mean honestly uh, i didn't pay much for this it was a black friday deal i think i paid thirty dollars which is a screaming deal for this thing i've seen these up to 70 80 bucks for one of these brands depending on the time of year that you buy it the bag they're claiming drain bag so it uh you know to dry out because typically you don't get stuck on the dry concrete you get stuck someplace super sketchy now something i'm just gonna throw this in here for fun i picked up one of these today i think a hitch pin but an oversized one and what i saw somebody do was pretty clever and do this if you wish on your own uh, cognizance. Uh, where, your, where your trailer hitch is on your truck, you know, where, where your receiver slides in, they just stuck this bad boy in there and then they slipped one of these through. And that's how they did it for safety. Yeah. So it was like kind of interesting. I picked this up for like when I've got to move trailers around on the property and I'm just all, apparently every trailer I own has a different ball. And uh, I don't think I'd tow with this. I mean, you could. It's just like a made in India handled receiver hitch pin you know am i gonna make a standalone video for this thing whatever but that's i mean that would be great for that i did see some terrible things like if you hook one of these to a to an actual trailer hitch that's a recipe for somebody going to the morgue because <laughs> like oh man so like your trailer hitch comes out, a lot of people have the drops. Well, when you put a drop from a focal point, it increases the, the dynamic situation there. And uh, you put too much on that and it just breaks. Well, then you got this dynamic stretchy rope and it goes boom, boom, about 180 miles an hour that way. And then it goes right through your back window or through your windshield. Yeah. I got soft shackles I'd probably use with something like that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm all for you. You got to buy the best always. You know, you got to spend $200 on a recovery rope that you're going to, 
I mean, this is what I would do, honestly. Like, uh, if I saw some dummy on the side of the road and he needed to be snatched out, I'd probably be like, you owe me 30 bucks, and then I might, that thing's free, and he'd probably pay. You know what I mean? Like, who shows up to get people unstuck and does it because of all the goodness of your heart? Not in the shells. He's charged you 30 bucks. I guess. I don't know. I actually went back. I saw this this morning, and I'm like, do I need a cheapy emergency rope? Then I, I finally decided it was like, if I was ever stuck somehow, I, I really don't know how I would do it because I don't go getting myself stuck. What would I pay to have this? I don't like pay 30 bucks. <laughs> That's what I decided. Is that weird of me? Like, am, am I? Yeah. That's a little weird of me. Okay. Well, I guess I should put the instructions back in in case I forget how to use it. Well, you're good. If you were wondering about the uh, the grip, I actually walked and made the top 10 best recovery ropes on an internet robot. Uh, List, so. and it also didn't make the uh, it didn't make the cut of the under 200 best uh, ones because uh, yeah whatever. wouldn't use it for uh, daily recoveries I would use that for a oh shit situation uh, yeah that's what that but I could be wrong this could be good I saw some uh, pictures of reviews and there were some broken ropes and uh, shit happens man you're working with about just shy of 11,000 pounds safe Recover at your own risk. Stay safe.